What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the next video episode of the low budget, high power video guides from War Robots. This time with a Raven robot, uh, a robot that has become even better with the recent updates where it gets now a damage booster for the jump and shortly after. Okay, and you can produce the Raven robot very easily in the workshop. If you take a look here, you get for uh, 200 components, you get 80, no, 200,000 silver, you get 80 components. And I also checked with the wiki online, upgrading it with silver is much cheaper than most other robots do or, or have. So it's really a good robot to choose. And um, the only thing or the only downside is that you require four weapons for it, right? I went with the pl old plasma death button and the rocket death button uh, that we used to have on the Griffin too. And those are very popular and very cheap to get and uh, a setup so uh, much better when it comes to a low budget and a good outcome after all and of course with a pilot you can get some additional health re uh, stuff and such uh, as, as usual last stand makes it survive longer and all that but these things are all optional the robot itself performs really well as I'm going to show you now in a beacon rush match and in a free for all match guys um, you're usually one of the first on the beacons uh, let's check for example this here that's a long range map it's not exactly what I had in mind but it, it it may allow me to show you this first on the beacon thing, okay? So let's go here, boom, one jump, and I'm gonna wait, 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 and then I'm gonna do the last jump, because I didn't want to land up on the structure. I could have also landed on the structure here, uh, and uh, then I could have uh, would have been able to uh, shoot maybe on someone, but they would have been able to shoot me too. Okay, we have... See that? Okay. So what the death button is, it's it's kind of a hunter, really. What you do with this thing... Oh, look, this guy is locked down. And you see the, the Orcan damage is insane. Okay, he already suppressed me, or he would have suppressed me, but I have damage resistance currently. Uh, or the anti-control. And he goes phase shift. Okay. This guy just went phase shift mode. And maybe we can use the Raven... To just go and get up here. Ah, uh, I, I, he, made, he made it into his flight, unfortunately. Okay, and I'm gonna try and capture this beacon here. With a face shift now. Okay, here he lands. Okay, we didn't get the beacon, but we turned it white. That's not bad. And now we can jump on the beacon, or maybe our team is going to just get, get the rest. And we're, while we're running the... Uh, Oh man, that's bad for us. Let's ma maybe I can jump here into safety. Nope, that's not safety. That's still mid <laughs> mid in in the way of enemy fire. I was trying to get into into safety and jump into safety there. That didn't work. Did we get that beacon? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And the damage output as you see here on the griff on the plasma griffin is actually pretty good. It's a really high damage output that this robot has. And um, with this and that's why we called it the death button, right? That's the reason why this thing was called death button because it has so much firepower uh, and even on its plasma version as we see it here. And the Orkan death button or Orkan pinata version has even more firepower when it comes to a very short duration, but then it will run out of firepower really quickly. See how much things we kill here with this plasma death button and this constant jumping that this robot has makes it incredibly good. As I said guys, this is normally a short range setup. It's a brawler and you wouldn't really want to be running it in uh, uh, in a sniping map as we are here. Uh, but we, currently we have no other choice. That's the ma map that we got. And uh, yo, I think we're doing a great job here. <laughs> Clearly, we are. Uh, so, and we're still shortly before, um, what's it called? Last stand. See, this was all without last stand. All that I've done right here was without last stand. Now last stand is triggered, just for a few seconds. And this guy notices it, and he's now focusing something else. So this, okay, this guy has last stand too. Look, surprise jump. Okay, then anti-stealth activated, and then, uh, yeah, we survived. All right, nice. I'm, as I said, guys, I'm going to also show you the uh, the Raven in free-for-all right afterwards. Because it's literally one of the uh, most powerful free-for-all bots in the game, too. Uh, well, not necessarily as powerful as an Ares or so, but it's definitely a powerhouse. Okay, the match is over, pretty much. 
Let's punish this guy a little bit here before it ends. So, let's see how much we have done. We have captured one beacon and we have turned one beacon white that the enemy already had. And that was all with the Raven, and it shows you how much how much power it provides your hangar with uh, when you get a Raven. See, damage output is pretty good with four four weapons, two medium, two light. Um, but most importantly, this mobility thing. That's the thing. This mobility is what makes the Raven so incredibly good. The latest 5.43 patch. I'm not sure which one it was that brought the damage booster into the jump of the Raven, which made it a really, really powerful monster. As usual, guys, I made a whole playlist uh, with all these low-budget, high-power video guides combined in one video playlist. In the upper right corner is the direct link for you guys. Check it out to see what other robots made it into this ranking. And one thing that I want to throw in here, guys, uh, is that the better setup here would be uh, Orkin and Gust, okay? Instead of... Piñatas are really weak right now in the game. Like, they, they are so weak. What you should do instead of the Piñatas, if you can, run two Gusts. The reason I didn't choose Gust here is that you cannot produce Gust in the workshop, which I don't I don't get. Pixonic, why can we not create Gust in the workshop? That would be something that we really need, right? We have Halo and Corona, why is Gust not in there? Can you please add Gust to the workshop? I've also seen people request that a lot of times in the uh, in the uh, comments of my videos. And this should be what you re what we should replace the piñatas with. Gust, Gust, Orkin, Orkin. Excellent combination. I've run it, so, run it so many times on different robots, it works really well. And the plasma death button, well, it doesn't really need to be changed. It's just ex excellent the way it is. Alright, so now we're here in free for all, ladies and gentlemen, taking spot number one with this nicely painted uh, death button. Um, Raven, Let's see what we have here. Oh, it's a Bulgazari. That's good for us, actually. He's gonna dash once. There it is. And he's gonna have another one. There it is. So now I saved most of the rockets so I can basically finish him off with the final kill. Boom. Okay, here, we co here comes an invader. An invader that I don't want to fight if I don't have to. I'd rather go for this guy, and thankfully, these guys are battling each other now. Okay. I'm gonna jump away here. Trying to steal a kill. Nice. And maybe I'm gonna get this guy too. Nice! Alright, uh, that was a lot of luck though. I have to admit, ladies and gentlemen, that was a lot of luck involved. Because the damage output of these things is not that high. Wait, can I make it behind this thing? This robot is not very fast that he's running right now. And he's gonna use a shield. There it is. Right? And he now has this energy shield. And I'm, I'm counter walking the corner here. And boom! Got the kill. Nice. The blitz robot would have easily killed me if I hadn't gone for this little broken statue right there. That little broken statue really made it for me right there. It allowed me to... Um, to cancel his suppression effect and counter his shield and basically just counter walk the corner. So, what makes the Raven what it is, ladies and gentlemen, is not necessarily its pure firepower. It's more the fact that you have this, this surprise element to every attack. Like this. You see this? These ridiculously fast... What's going on over there? I don't have Quantum Raider. I can't do anything against it. Can I hit him like this? No, my rockets go right over him. One jump, and a second jump. Alright, the, the, the Spectre... No, the Spectre is still there. Interesting. Okay. Here he comes. That's it for him. And then we have Quantum Radar, and we can kill him too. Nice. So. <laughs> I don't know how this guy is infinitely long stealthed. Maybe he had a disconnect right while he was stealthed. I don't know. But you, you see the mobility here on this on this robot is really the key. The ra- uh, the grave uh, not Raven, what is it? Uh, the uh, Inquisitor just went into stealth mode. The thing is, I need to make it behind this statue again. There it is. Okay, we made it, and thankfully, we're not instantly locked. We would be instantly locked down now by his uh, lockdown weapons, uh, but we were not, thanks to the, um... Ah, hello. So it's now that you're in battle, I can come around and attack you. And this guy too. Boom. Nice. Quantum Raider helped, of course, against these kind of kills. Uh, you would have a hard time getting this at Pursuer, because you have to wait his stealth, and then jump after him once his stealth is gone. That's how you have to do it. 
Okay, he's gonna fly now. I quantum radar and that's it. Boom. I also activated the resistance. Okay, see that? Now we have the problem with the Falcon. Because we can't kill the Falcon either. He just has too much health. That freaking so Falcon. So we're on Valley, ladies and gentlemen. And we have an Ares in front of us. That's going to be a bit of a problem. We're going to make him use his shield here. Shield is coming up. There it is. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. I was hoping he was not going to turn around and face us here. Uh, but I'm going to keep my last stand here. Okay, he's going to do the same thing. So his last stand is now used. And here he comes, and boom, Ares killed, nice. And I think we're going to die now. Uh, yeah, I don't, don't think we have much of a chance here. Uh, but at least we were able to win against this one guy. And now the uh, Bulgazari is going to kill the other one. Except maybe I can somehow squeeze a shot in before that happens. Wow, we were able to do this. Okay. And we even got this kill. And some dude is annoying the heck out of me with his stuff. All right. Oh boy, come on. Yeah, okay. Nice, all right. That was a, a good beginning for this fight. Okay, we can we can deal some damage, but we can't kill him. The, the quantum radar is not going to take long enough. Unfortunately. But we can kill him right afterwards, thanks to the last stand in this case. Without the last stand, we would not have survived this. Uh, but, you know, we're fighting our chuns here uh, with Avenger. Like, one, the toughest, the second-placed robot in the game. We're fighting this with the Raven. Against robots like the Ares or the Aochun, you're gonna have some serious problems. He's gonna jump now. Is he not? Okay, he's not gonna jump. I expected him to jump right there. <laughs> he's trying to go the other way now. As you see there. And I'm gonna try and steal that kill. Here we go. My kill, hi! <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna die now, I know. I got no chance against this guy here. Not in this short range encounter that we have. Well, I might be able to make him miss a couple of his shotgun shells and then jump up here, maybe? Nope. There it was. There was my my only defensive move that I could have used here. And I, there was no chance for me here. All right, I need to wait for more jumps. The problem with the Raven is that it has a very short jump. The, sh the jump of the Raven is such a short one. And I'm probably not gonna end up on the beacon on this, on this high up position that I want to get on. Okay, he's actually walking away. That's good for me, because that gives me time to regenerate my jump. Okay. And get back in safety, maybe. If I'm not getting stuck constantly on every corner, that would be hurt very, very good. All right, what do we do now? I'm going to regenerate some more of my shots. And then hopefully I get the kill. No, what? Who got this kill? Are you kidding me with the Zeus? You just somehow got this kill. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. If I had the other one, if I had the plasma version, I could have killed them so easily because I would have had so much more damage output. All right, I need this slope here to do the long jump. Okay, maybe we're going to make it here. Nah, we're not going to make it. Okay. Why is he going for him? Stay here. Okay, whew, I got the kill before the other one did. Oh, the Ares is taking some heavy damage. Okay, we're jumping. Trying to make him miss a few of his shots. Nice, I got it before my last stand was triggered. All we have is a decent amount of damage output for a short time. For a very short time, we have a decent amount of damage output. Um, that we need to make use of. I'm going here now. I'm gonna try and steal a kill. Yep, I got this kill. And now since this guy had his, his jump used already before, or his flight, I'm gonna get that too. Now, I'm not gonna get any more kills at this point. Uh, 
Losing weapons. Oh, he's reloading now. He's got a 10 second reload ahead of him. Come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> oh man, I expected I expected enemy four to get this kill. Because normally, you know, what would have happened is he attacks him with his much more firepower than I have and gets the kill. Uh, I'm corner shooting. I'm trying to use every possible little advantage I have. But you know what? Let's get killed by him. Because this guy is second and this guy is third. So I, I choose the third as, as the uh, go-to enemy. The, uh, the Auchun is never gonna get the kill. Got the kill, nice! And now I can snack him too because he just dropped his resistance for some reason. And boom, there I got them both, nice! And you, see, this is the Raven. This surprise jump, this surprising attack that you can pull out of nowhere um, every time, uh, y you know, you need it, you can, you can do these surprise attacks and this is really what makes the Raven what it is. Uh, except maybe behind the wall. Okay, I'm activating the jump for the resistance and then I gonna I win. Right? Don't forget to jump with a raven uh, when you want to attack someone. Damage boost, that's the selling point right here now of this robot. What an amazing m m uh, robot this is. In my opinion, these old setups... Um, okay, Orkin and Pinata is really weak. We're running short DPS. You saw against the, the battle against the Falcon. I could have killed this Falcon so easily if this, f uh, if this Raven would have had Gust instead of Pinata. Uh, then we would have had a short-range shotgun for brawling power and the Orkins for corner shooting, for splashing around others who try to corner shoot you and for massive burst damage at three, three, 300 meters range, you know? And that's why the combo Gust and Orkin is right now really perfect. If you have two Gusts laying around, replace these two Pinatas with it and you're gonna have a really excellent robot. Much better than this one, although this one is not bad. And this right here is somehow the winner of this video right here, right? You just, you can, you can, you have a decent amount of damage output, you can do some great uh, focus fire and just put people out of the match really quickly. You are mostly the first on middle beacons, like the center beacon on Canyon, the center beacon on Valley. Usually you are the first with a Raven, because you can double jump on there and nothing is as fast as you are, uh, mostly. And so there are really, really good reasons to add this thing to your hangar. And since it's really easy to obtain and level, I think it deserves its place in this low budget, high power video guides. As usual guys, I made a whole playlist uh, with all these low budget high power video guides combined in one video playlist. In the upper right corner is the direct link for you guys. Check it out to see what other robots made it into this ranking. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off.